Alright guys, today I will be teaching you about the displacement modifier and normal maps. Okay, what we're going to do today is use the displacement modifier and make a normal map. First things first, delete the default cube and add a plane. Zoom in, go duplicate it. Crap. Duplicate it. Click. And move it off to the side. Now I'm going to delete some of these windows that are up. Because. Cancel. Crap. No. Close. Close. Okay. Okay, so now select this plane right here. Click add multi add multi resolutions. Just cap change Catmull Clark to simple subdivision and add levels to get around to get around 8 now go here to the materials panel materials panel and add a new material go be using the displacement modifier which requires a texture so we'll go go into the textures panel and add a new texture. Change the texture type to image and choose the black and white image of your choice. Go load mine. Okay. Find it. Documents and settings. My documents. Go. Let's just wait for it to load. Sorry for how slow it's running. Camtasia is recording. It's kind of odd. Okay, let's find my pictures. Let's see if we'll open up. Um. Alright, so I just gotta find it. I'm not sure which one it is. So, Let's see. It's like a dragon. Here it is, dragon. It's gotta be a black and white picture. Black and white image. Okay, select image. And it should load up right here, or right over here. You should be able to see it. Or in my case, you can't. Okay. And this texture is named text.001. So I'll go into the editing tab. Add modifier. Displace. Texture, name the text of the image, text dot o o one. Oh, it seems I got some of it wrong. Dot o o one, there you go. That, and it should load it up. Let's see, yep, there we go. Change normal to Z, because you only want it to be on the Z axis. Change the strength down to something like, um, change the strength down to something like, uh, point two. Let's wait for it. Alright. 
that's still a lot. Another thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna set it smooth. Set it smooth. So that looks more like that. 2.02 seems a lot. Yeah, that's way a lot. Let's, see, let's change it to 0 0.06. 0 0.06. See how that looks. Still seems a bit. So 0 0.02. Okay. Actually, it seems good. Go back to top view. Seeing numpad seven. Okay. Do is split the screen. Split area, just like that. Be right up there. All right. Let's see. Change this. To UV image editor, it looks like the face. Face UV yeah. image editor. Yeah. I'm gonna lower this from nine to eight, cause nine seems a bit much. Nine to eight. And then I'm gonna apply. Ooh, schnitzels. That's not good. Okay, so I'm just go add another level. That's just odd. So that seems good. Now, we're going to go into edit mode. One of the most dangerous things to do with this mini vertices. Faces. Edit mode. We'll just go wait. Okay, you can see it. it's all odd. Apply the multi resolutions. Then go over to the right and apply the modifier. Hard. So I'm going to go into object mode and apply the modifier. And after I apply the modifier, we are going to be making a normal map. So, let me apply the modifier. Apply it. Apply, apply, apply. Go into, back into, I'm going to go back into edit mode. A to select all. Or deselect all, I'm not sure if it doesn't happen in a second. Okay, deselect all. Now press A again to select all. So wait for it to see, it's all yellow now. Now image. Go over to this window and click on image. Click new. Black. Press OK. Okay. 
choose unentitled choose an image let's wait for it to load cuz yeah so okay zoom out change unentitled to a custom to whatever you want to name it I'm gonna name it normals okay so now I'm gonna go over here press U press U okay you can go press project from U Okay, see it's on here. Now we go back to normals on it. On to the image. So now we go go to the um rendering section section or whatever you want to call it. it. And now we'll go go to bake. Okay. Change it to normals. Select it to be active. Change this to object. And give these some numbers. Okay. Now we we'll go press bake. I'll go into object mode. Once it's finished baking, it's baking. So, do. Go on, go into object mode and see if it worked. And it did because you can see it. Okay. So now what we want to do is we just want to get rid of this one. It's too high poly. So what you go do is you go press M and move it to the second layer. Okay. Now zoom out and find your other plane. Press Alt G to clear its location. Then press go into edit mode. Select all, press U, and project from view. And size it up to fit the image. There. Now you go go over into the materials panel. Add a new material. Go over here to the textures panel. Add a new texture. Name it normals change it to change the texture type to image going to want to press this button and choose the uh, crap and choose the normals the normal map that we made go want to use click t um hit normal map right here and you want to go to the normal material. You want to go to materials. Okay, it's all good right here. Go map input. Change it to UV. Go to map two. Change it to normals. 
and undo the color. So change it to normal. The normal, which is N O R. Okay, sure, it's only no, but this is the only one on. So now you go lower. What the heck? Go move that. Move it that way so I can see it. Ah, oh man, this moves so slow. Okay. I'm gonna change this to plane. To a plane. Because I like it like that. Um. Change the color to zero and the normal point two to point two and change this to all the way up to all the way up. And that seems about good. Okay. Now go into object mode. Okay. Change game. Change that to Blender GLSO materials. And you can see it's not supported by my graphics card or driver. So you won't be able to see it on mine. But if you did all this correctly, you should it should look like you should see it. And it won't look yellow, it'll look grey and be shiny. So hope this tutorial helped and have fun. <laughs>